Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to show you how I bleached my hair at home to achieve platinum blonde. Like I feel like I tried it so many times and I was getting to a point where I was like, it's not possible. I watched so many videos, it just wasn't happening. So I think this is like one of the, this is the first video I've seen in South Africa where someone shows us how to get that platinum blonde at home successfully. Okay, my name is Sinobu Yemonliwa. I'm a content creator based in South Africa. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so the first thing is that you cannot wear anything you like. Like I've, exp I've had a bad experience. My Ivy Park that I was ready for the minute it launched got bleached. Actually everything I've tried Everything I've had on while trying to bleach has been affected. Like even my towel and you see my IV park is bleached. Like I'm so sad about it. So guys, don't wear anything that you want to keep. So I'm wearing like a top with the whole like raggedy top. I'm wearing um, the towel that I had on when I was bleaching the first time. So that I don't have to damage anything further. Okay, so I'm not going to have anything over my shoulders because I'm, we I'm already wearing like a thing, you know? Okay, and then guys, this is not particularly, um, not even particularly, it's bad for your skin. It's bad for your skin here. It's bad for your scalp. So it's just a trend or a hairstyle that you can do. You can't bleach like every month for a year. So what I'm doing is that I'm going to have the hairstyle for, let's say, uh, three to six months, let's say. That's what I'm guessing. And then I will bleach once every two months. So I'll let my hair grow out like it has already. Um, so you see the roots are quite dark. Okay, let me take off my earrings. I forgot to do that. So guys, it's advisable that um, you do a, a moisture treatment after um, doing your bleaching. Um, even if it's the day after or your next wash day, it's also advisable that you use your lock method where you use your liquid oil and cream just to make sure that your scalp gets that goodness that it needs. The bleaching also does damage your hair. So if you're growing out your hair, that part that's bleached will be more dead or processed than your natural hair underneath. So uh, bleaching does change the structure of the hair. So the hair is not 100% natural after. So yeah, let me show you how I do it and what I used. So in my first video, when I was talking about like my new hairstyle, I mentioned that I was struggling to get my hair to platinum blonde. It was actually quite orange and brassy in that video as well. So someone who I actually mentioned down in my description box um, suggested this company to me. It's called the South African Hair Company. So when I tried to order from them, they were like, no, so you know, we're gonna send you stuff for free. So I said, you know what, I'll just feature your product in my um, video. So this is their packaging, the South African Hair Emporium. You can find them on Instagram and I'll drop their details down in the description box. So they sent me quite a number of things, as you guys can see. So it's different colors. They sent me all the colors, blue, green, yellow. Um, and they sent me lashes. They sent me quite a few things, lash glue. Um, I don't wear lashes that much. But every now and again, like once a year, I wear lashes, so those will come in handy. So I'm going to show you specifically what I needed and what I use for my hair. So, slow motion. So you get peroxide, cream peroxide, and you get bleach, right? So these you mix together. So the instructions come at the back, and it says you mix two parts she peroxide with one part she bleach powder. So one part, this is the powder, and two parts of the cream. So it looks like the powder will definitely outlast the cream. So you probably have to top up the cream if you need it. Like I'm one person, my hair's short, so not, I won't necessarily need a top up, right? So um, it does give you a warning. Do not ingest, always wear gloves, perform a skin test, and do not apply to irritated skin. So a skin test is when you put it like behind your ear to see if you'll have a bad reaction to it or not. Uh, our scalps are all uh, have different sensitivities. So that is essential. I've done my um, check already, so I won't do it again. So it says it's not recommended for pregnant women or children. Do not apply on eyebrows, beard or lashes and store in a cool place. So the warnings are the same and the instructions are the same. And they've got videos on their Instagram where they're very, very clear on how to use everything. Even when I was struggling, I don't think the whole world can DM her, but I feel like 
um, if you're struggling, you can watch the whole, um, all the videos that she puts up to get it right. So the only thing that I really don't like about this process is that you have to leave the bleach in for like an hour in your hair and it's impossible not to get it on your scalp if you're not bleaching tips. So it burns, it burns. So as a person who promotes for healthy uh, living, I'd say that you can do this once in a while and you can treat your scalp and hair after to minimize the, the, the damage. Yeah. This is the applicator comb that it came with. It's so nifty, guys. So basically, you apply with the side and you comb through the bleach using the side. You guys will see when I use it. These are the gloves that I'm going to use. Um, I used the gloves the one time I've got the bleach on my skin. It really like, it doesn't burn, but it, it does. You don't feel the burn, but you can see it does burn your skin. So it's not advisable, but it goes away after a day. This is the cap, which I don't like that much because um, when you put it around your head, it actually, that part where it sits on doesn't get bleached um, to the same level as the other hair. So I will put it on for the first 30 minutes because it makes the process quicker. Then I'll take it off and reapply at the front um, so that like there's no line, you know, like even at the back, it didn't bleach properly. I would advise that you guys really watch out for bleaching at the back because sometimes I got it wrong. There was like a big patch that was like black because I didn't get down there. So now I make sure that I apply properly at the back. So the last and most important step of this whole process is getting your hair from that orangey brassy look to platinum blonde. And you cannot do that without toning your hair with purple shampoo. So this is the purple shampoo that they sent to me. There were two of them. This is the unused one. So I did buy purple shampoo when I just bleached my hair in bloom, but it didn't work. So this is the one I, were, I, I bought, which is the Violet Crush for Blondes by John Frieda at Clicks. It was one something. So it was like 150. I'll put it down below with the proper price. So the reason why this didn't work is my hair was still too orange. So the bleach has to get your hair to a point where it's quite blonde before you use this. Otherwise you'll be applying purple shampoo for the rest of your life, like for no reason. So I do use this one for general maintenance every week when I wash my hair, because if you are washing your hair with normal shampoo, there's like a weird change that happens. I can't really describe it. And also what I noticed, like the extent of damage that the bleach or the extent of how strong the bleach is, is that when my hair starts growing out, it actually grows out a little bit like brassy, like the first day. So that means it goes in the scalp a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. But like I noticed that. So if you look like at my hair, there's some parts that are still brassy. And when I just bleached my hair, there was none of that. Okay. So guys, I do use the bigger lid that I get from the cream peroxide because I don't have a container for this. And I'm just tired of spending money. So... I put one, I'm hoping that I get guidance from the skies how to do this because I'm not going to go and measure specifically what one part to two parts is. So just use your own discretion. But one part to two parts is not too hard to achieve. Then I use the back of this to just mix it up. Oh, my carpet. Guys, this thing is powerful, eh? You don't want anything around you, not even like, I don't know what. It doesn't say it needs to activate at all. So you can apply it immediately after you're done mixing. Okay, I did put a bit much, so I'm gonna add more powder. I put too, too much cream. Okay, it looks blended to me, so I'm going to start the application process. Okay, I'll start my application process. I'll use the comb at the end when I'm spreading it through, so for now I'm just going to use my hands.
So make sure you get your hairline and the areas at the back. So the little bit that's left, you take it and make sure that you're applying on the hairline. So guys, get a partner to help you with this because you will not see at the back. So I'll get it at the front. So what I'm emphasizing here is that you want to do it all the way to the front. The first time I did this, I saw that the edges weren't done. So I needed to do it like the next day. So, okay, Annie, you can help me. Tell me if I need to go more down. So you also want to get the back of your ear because that was also not done the first time. And like a little bit of the side burns, don't burn your ear. Okay, so now I'm going to comb it through just to make sure that it's distributed quite well. Okay, so you guys can see that my hair gets quite like curly because of the bleach. So it's processing my hair to look different from what it naturally looks like. Guys, you don't want to do this over and over. So just make sure you do it right this first time. So distribute it and get it right in. Okay, now I'm going to put on the cap for the first 30 minutes and I'll remove it. And then I'm going to have it on for an hour. Please do remove it when it starts burning. You can choose to do it over like three days for like 30 minutes a day, but I'm a one day girl, so I'm going to do it now. Okay guys, so I'm done washing my hair in the shower. I used the purple shampoo and this is the outcome. Um, I used my microfiber towel from a natural hair company. It's really, really amazing. I was actually not drying my hair before, but this is nice because it gets the job done so much quicker. So I'm not walking around with my um, hair dripping water for like 10 minutes. So you see guys, you've got that platinum blonde i didn't go white sometimes i like the last time i did it i went super white this time i actually like the, the the platinum blonde look so this time it actually took me longer to to achieve the color than last time because um i think the hair is longer one and maybe i put too little bleach so guys just make sure that your proportions are as they instruct sometimes you can add a little bit more bleach um to make the process a little bit quicker so the cap that i use that you guys saw mine's quite old i've used it like three times now so i think i need to get a new one for that warmth because now it's got see-through parts so i think that's why i needed to do the bleaching twice this time so i did two rounds of 50 minutes of bleaching the day after each other so i think this is like going to be the last time that i'm going to bleach in a while um because you want to protect your scalp you don't want to overdo it um i would suggest that you bleach once every two weeks for the first um, month or two that you're still experimenting with the hairstyle, then unfortunately you just have to move on to the next hairstyle that's less aggressive on the scalp. And um, obviously guys, if you're bleaching and then putting on braids, it has doubled the trouble. So if you're bleaching, rather just keep your hair as it is. If you're doing braids, rather do braids on hair that's not like uh, chemically processed or your scalp hasn't been affected by um, chemicals. The instructions do say don't put on scalp, but it's literally impossible possible because you have to get to the roots and I feel like the hair is not long enough to apply um, carefully okay so I'm just gonna moisturize my hair quickly and sign out so I am using um, the love king spray I've just got water in here I know I just came out of the shower washing the hair but it's dry so you want to just spritz it again it feels a bit redundant but trust me it's not it's a formula that works and I've been doing it for a long time and then I'm not putting oil because I feel like just after I've washed my hair, the oil makes the um, hair too sticky and it actually sticks to my scalp. So what I've done now is that 
um, when the hair is completely dry, like the next day, I'll add a little bit, like a drop of oil directly on the moisturizer. I'll show you guys how to do that now. So what I would do is that I just take a, a drop of this oil like that, and that was two drops, and put it directly into the moisturizer, but only on the second day, not just after the wash day. Okay, so as I said, I'm just putting moisturizer today. Spread it on your hands first, guys, because you will have areas with more moisturizer if you don't. Sometimes I brush the hair, sometimes I don't. Make sure the moisturizer is right up in there. If you want your hair to stay um, laid for longer, you can then use the Love King Stook that I'm going to show you guys now to further lay the hair. So you can brush the hair in the direction that you want to lay it in. I don't always do this. Use a soft bristle brush because this is directly onto your scalp. When I had longer hair, I had a bit of a buffer so I could use the hard bristle brush. But it does hurt when you use the hard bristle brush. I got that brush at Natural Hair Company as well. I'll link it down below. And this is the Love King stick that I will be using to lay my hair. You can't get this color because this color is an exclusive collaboration with a very very big beauty brand that I will reveal on YouTube and Instagram like in a month or two. Um, but anyway, so you can get other colors on www.love-kinks.com, which I'll also link down below. Guys, it's so cool. Like if you lay your hair with this dog um, for like the next 15 to 20 minutes, your hair will actually be lie in that direction for the next week until you wash your hair again. So you get to control the direction in which your hair lies. How cool is that? I was actually so shocked to see the effect of that. Like it'll actually be hard to then lift the hair and try and make it go a different direction without completely wetting it and saturating it in water. And there you have it guys, that is the full video. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching that. Uh, please comment down below what you think, uh, like, and please click the notification bell so that you get notifications when I post. Um, yeah, you can get the ducks on www.love-kings.com. All of this is on my Instagram profile and the Love Kings um, separate Instagram profile. You've got the website link right there in the description of the page. And yeah, see natural. Mwah. Oh! <laughs>